Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In this episode, we're starting off by doing this heist. Now I think it could ever go three ways. One, it could go completely smooth and we'll get out, no problem. Two, it's going to go to utter shit and we have to fight our way out. Or three, the guy who's planning it is going to turn on me. And I'm going to have to chop his head off. Anyway, let's see how this goes. I'd rather be number one than number three. I don't know, I'd rather be number one or number two. If it's number three, I have no problem with it. Well, well. Got an early bird in our midst. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Evelyn, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. So. Oh. Oh, up she goes. Flowing city foul, shite all over again. Hot, hot I was about to say. <laughs> oh. Alright, Geralt, go on. If memory serves, you assured us there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever, don your masks and let's go. For now, knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting point. Watch this. Guards! Guards! 
should have stayed in that cage. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. No, fam, I said no one dies. Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die. Hold now. We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that. You can. Just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide? Kill a hostage. Just do what they want. I beg you. <laughs> Calm yourself. No one is to be harmed. Clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain. Reach an agreement. So we want a wagon, and horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets? <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon, then? What kind? Time he took a gander downstairs. Vaults open. Radovid's coronation carriage. Nothing less. Drawn by two snow white mares. Do you think the situation is jest? Do you? <laughs> no, you're both right. This is no jest. I want us to reach an agreement. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But you must not ask the impossible. Second time you're turning me down. Shit negotiation tactic. It seems negotiation's not my strong suit. Nor is it yours. Attack! Oops, tip the scales.
Bloody hell. Bravo. Splendid job to do that. I'm a witcher, not your negotiator. Where's Evelyn? Just fled. All the better. You were hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. Lovingly crafted. Two spring loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move. We've no time. Mm -hmm. Do or die. Oh, what the sh... Well, that ended up being a very badass part. Freaking not a badass part at all. Spiders. I hate spiders. It's the passion. You stupid little fuckers, are they? God's sake, these fucking spiders are pissing me off. Oh my god, you're in the same fucking movie shit though. Well, now I'm stuck down here. That's it for now. I bet he's gonna turn on me now, isn't he? Oh no, maybe not. Complications, complications. Right. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me, had me disinherited. Anything, everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that, I did. That's no excuse, Horst. You won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you, give you whatever you want. No, I don't, I don't like bull prick. 
A desperate attempt at bribery going once, twice, thrice. Hmm. No takers, no sale. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! Bro, I'm being double teamed. Don't freaking appreciate it. Quinto. Do I have to do that, Quinto? Be left with no choice. Prefer to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. All that you own. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. Fifteen years in the sewers. Like a beast, and you the cheek to plead. Well then. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No, and I won't be until I find Max Bersotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. Don't provoke me. Never know. Might choose to take your head. You're wounded. Tired. Figure my chances are good. Dumb, but have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I said, at your service, mate. Come on, come closer. <laughs> Thank you. 
I said off with your head, and I meant off with your head. of time now to get out of here Go, can you use that please? Open it, please, thank you. Well. I was right about two of the things, that it would go shit, and the guy would turn on me. Well, neither of them will be a problem anymore. Alright, all good. Where are you? You in here? How much? Need to chat. I'm all ears, which is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the frickin' house. Got something for you. I love gifts. But I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Cool. Oh, that's better. All right. What do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No. He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. Well, I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massive one. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. And none know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss soldiers aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from a home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family, they took on some debt, a poor investment in a sauna, a bad crop one year, a lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover, but Horst Borsoldi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, 
past earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A brawled. Then had another tanker. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Say to something, then we'll chat. You there, yank the herring out the barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. To listen, or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready, I'm listening. Good, you'll return to your lord and tell him as follows His demand was brazen, hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality, and I shall not bend to an uncouth boor and dictum. Understood, I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me, and don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside, have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. I'm afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dolphus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Alright, 
right, the Von Everick estate. And it just went all gloomy and stuff. Well, that happened here then. Kendrick, Kendrick, you there? Not so loud. Ah, God, scared me off to not death. So loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F Foglets. Oh, sweet mother, my little Why don't I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm -hmm. So you're a thief? Thief steal from the living. What's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... Was that one of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my. I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You. I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh manure. That's it. Just fresh manure. That's all you got to say. There. Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who. There's a dog here. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Okay, then the final one over here. Woods rotted completely. No violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. Oh, fine, I'll search for partner. Knock, knock. Damn, locked. A busted lamp, and the ground's trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Let's uh, scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. There's a black dog and a black cat. Both look like they're possessed from the look of their eyes. What's going on over here then?
graves, unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Well, I thought that's his wife. Another thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? Okay, that's definitely not his wife. Who the hell are you? Fucking okay, no, hell, I'm to your face. Yes. Oh, hey. He's about to die, I swear. <laughs> Jesus bloody Christ, that wasn't his wife what at all. Was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. Philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgid von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? 
Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgir gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Interesting. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way.
cracking hell. Race are the single worst thing to be added to this game. What the hell was that? I hate race for the passion. Who made them a thing for this game? Well done. Because you freaking made it difficult. to see her here she is a man should frame his wishes carefully it forestalls disappointment this some sick joke why didn't you tell me she was dead right away you didn't ask uh, and why hasn't anyone buried her we can't as for the caretaker the one you cut down while still alive she ordered him to stay away from her for all time Her ghosts, restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. I'm going for this one up here. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. say much about Iris von Everick, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Oh no. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you.
Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Right. This is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? So you examining the tracks outside? Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them. Restore them. Summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Right guys, I'm going to leave this episode of The Witcher 3 right here. I'm recording this intro after I've done the um, entire quest. As I didn't have time to do the outro while doing quite the episode. Because I didn't think the um, quest would be as long as it would. And I didn't think it would take as long as it did. So I hope you guys understand that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next episode where we continue the uh, past of Iris von Evelek. I'll see you all then. Deuces!